Hey, what's up guys? Spongebob here. Um, I'm going to be giving you my top 8 um, Connecticut ARG uh, reward profiles. Let's get into it. Uh, I played David as a starter. You can play other stuff. It was either this or GOAT, but I'm playing a heavier uh, Orgeyser engine. Or, uh, so this is just really good. It's 10k. You can return to the deck. You can uh, get it back out and it counts as two sacrifices. So it's good. Four of the best trigger in the game. This card, I'm not even going to lie. This card is not fair. It's probably gonna go to one. It's it's really broken. Um, so yeah. Then four cleric sword crit. Um, I do play cleric sword. <laughs> um so yeah, uh four draw. Um I was debating playing the stands, but I just like I like eight four. Um just put a more uh pressure with that. And then four of the OG heal. Um I didn't get my shining ones in time, so I did not play them. I know I'm bad for that. <laughs> So yeah, that's the zeros. Um, I don't think I would have changed it. Um, good ones. I'll give you my counter report afterwards. Uh, four abyssal owl. You want this to unflip, and it's good. Search the lord out. So yeah. Uh, four PGs. I think this is arguably the the best card in the deck. Um, oh, this and the owl. So yeah, just recursion. Uh, three stride fodder. This can actually search out your cleric sword, which is decent. And yeah. Uh, two soul breaker. Uh, I see people play one. I like two just because I always ride this. Like every single game, I ride Soul Breaker or I damage one, so I only have one left, and then I have to like get them back somehow. Uh, one knees. I really like this card. It's the Link Joker when you can attack, stack the card in front of it, draw a card, so they don't have a front row to lock. And then I had one tech spot to play the Cradle Mental. Um, during the Fickle More attack during that turn, they attack your Vanguard. They have to uh, kind of blast the attack. So this was for Night Rose, Gears, and Wiseman. Um, I ended up playing Wiseman, I ended up losing game 3, um, with like 15k shield off, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, but overall, I might take out, it worked pretty well, I mean, I didn't play any gears though, so, but when I was testing for that matchup, this was really good, so yeah, uh, great to use. I'm back. I got this, I got this right here. Uh, great to use, 4 of the witch, 10 game in a row, uh, it looks nice. Three more 10 game vanillas, so seven of them. And then four more fest subs. This card's just stupid. Just really, really stupid. Um, hits perfect numbers, like, even just like the poke for 5k guard. It's like, okay, let me hit, let me get a great one. Uh, it's really good. I don't think I'd change the lineup. Um, actually, I don't know. Maybe I might take out some of the 10ks for the uh, GB1. Uh, when you call anything that's 1 or 0, it gets 3k. So, I might try that out, um, to see if you can hit, like, stupid comms with that, especially if they don't get rid of it. Um, then great threes, for playing the ward, for playing four the ward, um, and then three cleric sword. Um, I'm gonna get a lot, probably get a lot of crap for playing this card. Um, my reasoning behind this was, uh, the witch fodla is amazing, it's an amazing card. Uh, just to fish, uh, fish out the owls and David if you return it to deck, but if you ride it, it's terrible. <laughs> It really can't do a lot, and then you have to manually draw into the ward or search it out somehow, um, which kind of hurts. This gives me another, like, play. If you ride this, you can stride, kind of last one, get, like, a sword breaker or get anything else. It gets 2k, um, so you get a, you pretty much mitigate the card you use to stride. So you get, you get, uh, like, sword breaker or whatever, and you can get zeros too. So you can stack the card you called out and David for your 3-4 or geyser, uh, doomed, so I like it, um... You have the crit for it, and you can search it out too, so it's pretty good. I like it. I mean, it's a really good backup card just because um, it has a lot of versatility with the plays you can make. So essentially, like I rode this, uh, I think like the first four games I played, I never saw this card. So this actually put in a lot of pr uh, work because if I saw Fadla, I would have lost hands down because I got would have gotten rushed so hard because uh, it's nine k, which kind of sucks. I don't think I'd be. I'm gonna change the currently the three lineup. The cleric sword works perfectly. Um, currently, it's my favorite backup card because, like, if you ride it, at least it gives you like a fighting chance against other stuff, especially in the mirror. Because if you in the mirror, if you ride the Fodla, you're like, okay, what can I really do? You can get me two cards, but it's nine k. So they could stay at two for another turn, punch you in the face, and then yeah. Uh, D zone. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, three is for playing uh, D deck, so you need this. Uh, one carnivore. I was playing two, but the GB8 
is out, so I took out one for this. I'll probably do this. One spec blaster, uh, it's respawn there. It's good. Uh, I tried two, I used to play it at two actually. It's it's good, but the cost is so high because soul's so important in the deck, so yeah. The GB8 guy, this guy is really, really good. I got it up like three times the entire day. Um, so yeah. Then you play two Lord Azure Doomed. Uh, I'm against Control Player. I like the set two just because you can like control the board. I'm playing a 2 2 engine. I see people play like a heavier aura engine, which I, you can play that so you can get the crit. I like just playing 2 2 so I have the extra space. Um, I'm playing like kind of like a techie G zone. Um, this is kind of like really it, the way I'm playing it, it's kind of made for the mirror. Um, so you have a lot of ways you can like counter it. Um, I'm playing 2 Diablo. This card's dumb. Uh, really, really dumb. Uh, just stack three, uh, guard restrict and crit. To the Lord, um, that's the other, this is the thing I took out for, uh, the Orgeysers for. Um, I like this for the mirror and against, like, Gears and Night Rose when they pop your board. You can go into this and just bring back your field and, like, mitigate what they killed. So it's really good. I like it. Three guards, we're playing three plot maker, just big shield, good card. And then one dismal. Um, I think the new one's pretty decent, but had I mad, I'd probably want to play five G-Guards if you're playing the new one to flip. So, yeah. Um, I like this mode because you could, like, protect Morphessa or, like, whatever against, like, Aqua or whatever, just guard with this. Anything that can retire during battle phase, protect it. So, yeah. Um, I'll go with my, uh, tournament report. Uh, we had five rounds of Swiss. I went, uh, three one one. Uh, round one I played Prisms, I beat him game one, game two, uh, we didn't get to game two, we went to Titan, uh, I was tied at one more in the time, because he crit me early game, and so I tied, <laughs> uh, round two I played Prisms again, game one I rushed him and got him to four, then just quit him for game, uh, game two, uh, he decked out, uh, so that was, yeah, game three, uh, around three, sorry, I played, um, uh, Altmile, uh, game one, I was locked for a turn at two, um, and I ended up drawing Claret and just using it to kill his back row and then attack the side, so we had to play more cards man, and I gave him like one kind of blast to work with, so he really couldn't do a lot. Uh, game two, it was a really long game, uh, I survived his GB8, but the turn after that, he went to Luminous Hope and hit triple crit, and I was like 10k off from blocking it. Uh, game three, he decked out. <laughs> Uh, round four, uh, I played the Luagmir. Uh, that was kind of meh, I guess, because uh, I was really, not, I was kind of worried because, like, that uh, match decided if I would have pretty much made top. Uh, so, game one, I open up Abysmal. I open up um, Abyssal Owl, Morphessa, Clarithor Crit, and Double Draw Trigger. And I was like, okay, how, I'm probably going to lose game one. But I ended up pulling it out. Um, Late game, because he had like four cards in deck, I went into uh, Diablo, um, kind of boss one, make it 36, he couldn't guard, and I won there. Game two, um, I, I, just, I opened up like perfect hand, like I rode the PG, um, he didn't ride, so I went to the breeze, got double sword breaker, and like he knew from there he probably was going to lose. Um, I got him like four or five, like I think during my second stride. Then went into Spec Blaster and killed him that turn. Uh, last round, I played against Wiseman. Um, so that probably is my worst matchup. Uh, game one, he uh, he had the Aegis twice and ride Wiseman. So he lost game two. I uh, was really close. He got off the loop, and uh, I was 15k shield off from uh, surviving. And then game three, he just got perfect start. Um, soul charge, like perfectly like double grape to like recharge your soul like double gelgia like free of the stand it was just oh amazing um so yeah i lost that one uh so i was three one one and i got fifth after uh after that um then we all just split for top eight because we all wanted to go home so yeah um the deck worked pretty well i don't know if i changed anything uh it worked like pretty good i tested like a lot uh, the Clarit Sword definitely is my favorite backup card for this. Diablo I tested, it's good, but I don't want to play a heavier Diablo, uh, line of max deck just to make sure that it's, like, viable. I like having the tech spaces, so yeah. 
Um, so yeah, thanks guys. This is my uh, reward profile that I got top eight at ARG Days with. Uh, rate, comment, sub. I'm gonna have more profiles up this week, probably like gears and some other stuff. So yeah, uh, bye.